haven't checked out the guides on rubyonrails.org, I highly recommend that you check them out because there's a lot of good information and a lot of things that you might not realize that Rails can do. One of those things, which I'm sure that you have come across before within your application, is active record callbacks. And there's opinions out there where you should avoid active record callbacks. However, I do think that they have some valid use cases, but you want to be careful when you do use them. For smaller and more simple applications and models, I think active record callbacks are amazing and they are quick to do a job. However, as that application grows and as it becomes more mature, you may find that the interactions with the active record callbacks are not necessarily working the way you intended. Maybe sometimes they are firing and other times they're not. Maybe you have nested attributes where the children callbacks aren't being fired the way you would expect. And maybe they're firing when you did not expect them from some other kind of action within your application. And these callbacks provide hooks into the object lifecycle. So when a record is created, updated, or destroyed, you can provide some kind of extra actions or manipulation of the data. And so when you create an object, you have these available callbacks. Before validation, after validation, before save, around save, before create, around create, and so forth. And you have some similar and overlapping callbacks whenever you update an object. So the before save and the after save, those are available in both creating the object and also updating it. And then you have some specific callbacks for whenever a object is destroyed. So in this episode, we're going to look at the callbacks and when you should use them, and then how we would look at a few different callbacks to refactor them so that we're bringing them outside of the model and into a service class or something like that. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.